Welcome back to Uncensored. Now to UFOs and revisiting this topic, in fact, because this time last week we invited two experts on to talk about the recent congressional hearing in the US, which included testimony from a former intelligence official who claimed the US has possession of intact and partially intact alien vehicles. I actually asked to do this topic while covering the seat for peers because I find it really interesting. And last week's interview didn't go as planned. Sometimes in live televisions, that happens. We ran short of time to get to ask the questions I wanted. We got some feedback from the community that follows uh, the guests that we invited on that they weren't appreciative of the way we handled it. So we decided to invite the investigative journalist and co-host of the Weaponized podcast, Jeremy Corbell, back onto this show joins us now. Jeremy, welcome back. And just uh, give me a sense of exactly where you think the interview didn't go the way that was hoped last time. Yeah, Rosanna, I, I really appreciate you. I've heard that, that you are smart and that you listen to the public and that you are trying to report the news. So let's reframe this conversation. I think that you have been unfairly attacked on social media due to our last discussion. You know, I am mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. If you remember that movie. I remember you know, it very well, Jeremy. Network. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> Quest questions are, are, are weapons. And so that's why I'm back on. But let's talk about why I'm back on. Last mm -hmm. time, it was like a Twilight Zone movie mixed with like The Wizard of Oz. It is like that film, Don't Look Up. I was sitting mm -hmm. there thinking, what are they doing saying tinfoil hat? What are they doing playing the X-Files music? We are so far past that. But this is a battle for information right now. And I said, you know, so put on your battle helmet. So let's mm. talk about that real quick. Um, what I meant to try to talk with you about is that this is an international issue. And no matter what is found about this UFO topic, whatever the, the ground level truth is, this is the biggest story in human history. No matter what it is found that UFOs are or represent to humanity, they now call them UAP, no big deal. But I want to throw down for you right now so you understand, you might not be aware, there is a literal disinformation campaign by intelligence agencies to quote unquote, shape the emerging UAP narrative. And they use stigma and sleight of hand, and your government is actually involved in this. Mm. And before today, really your network and you have been kind of unwittingly part of this problem. But as of today, right now, this conversation, your network, we are now going to make sure you are part of the solution because we're gonna be talking about the facts of the UFO and UAP issue. And I, I am personally, aware of the impacts of this last ufo hearing are you personally aware of the repercussions what happened because of that ufo hearing Rosanna? no i'm not and again this is the reason why i wanted to have this discussion because i thought it was so rare and unusual to see uh congress taking the issue of ufos so seriously in fact let's play a clip from uh, some testimony we had if you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? By 